And let me show you guys my completed scent jar. And ta-da! Here is the jars that I will be using for scent training with MRL. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? Dashie's doing, I'm tired of these dogs. The boys are doing, we're going to fight each other because this is what we do when mom turns the camera on. We have to fight each other. <sighs> so it's Tuesday. I have gone to class, came home. Um, get off of me. No word. I'm trying to catch up on some YouTube. My brother is sweeping right now, and I'll be mopping floors today, and then... I know tonight I'm supposed to be going to dinner with Eli. I was supposed to last night, but he got sick. So hopefully he's feeling better. Um, and I'm wearing my alumni shirt. I had to wear it to class. I thought it was great. But yeah, that's the morning right now. Nothing too special. I kind of trying to decide what to do this afternoon. Do I want to go outside and read a book? Because I bought the first Game of Thrones, and I want to start reading it. Or do I want to watch Netflix? I haven't decided yet. I'll get it figured out. Hey guys! Look at all these freaking bugs in my window! Uh, I think they're called Selders bugs. I have no idea how they're getting in, but they're driving me insane. So, the afternoon has consisted of mopping floors, playing on my phone. I haven't done anything that I said I would. <laughs> And then, um, I worked on some scent training with MRL. That's always fun. Because I had a cotton ball that I soaked in saliva and I have forgotten about it. And <laughs> I need to go ahead and use it. So I went ahead and started scent training with him. He actually did very well. Um, I think I'm going to get some gauze pads from the store tonight if I can. Along with stuff that I need for dinner I'm going to make on Thursday. So we'll see about that. And I think I'm going to, um... As inspired by the Dale tribe, um, one of you guys actually sent me a link to the Dale tribe and I finally watched them. I'd heard about them for a long time and I just had never seen them. I also never knew that they had a service dog, so that was really cool. And now I'm enjoying watching them. They're just great. And I got inspired. I think the husband's name is John? Yeah? Um, they had little scent jars, which were basically like jars with holes in the lids and then they would put the smell inside and whatever and scent train with that and I like that idea a lot better than um just sniffing from a plastic bag which is what I initially had MRL doing so I'm gonna try and poke some holes into a jar into jar lids I think I have some jars anyway I'll need to check but yeah that has been the day right now the vlog is up that's always cool and who's at the door? Who is it? Sassy! Hi, baby! Hi, baby! I love you. Look at all those toys! So, I'm gonna get to work on making some scent jars. Hey, guys! So, I've got Riddler, who's looking at Mr. Emerald. Sassy's downstairs hanging out with my parents, so, yeah. She had me a little worried because I'd come home and she was not upstairs where she usually is. And then I was like, is she okay? And my parents are being really quiet tonight. But I mean, that probably is absolutely nothing. I mean, it's just my anxiety acting up. Because I'm getting really anxious for no reason. But, oh wait! I hear somebody! Who is it? Emerald, stay. Ah, Emerald, stay. Miss Sassers! Emerald, leave her alone. Hi, sweetie! Hi! Did you decide you wanted to come back? Alright, Sassy. Do you want to go up? You want to go up, Sass? Not you, MRL. Rude. It's okay. Hi, sweetie. Whoa. Sassy. Hi. No? Okay. I pet you. Says I like my belly rubs. I don't mind what body part. Yeah, my sweet angel. So, tonight I 
went and had dinner with Eli. That was fun. We went to the Dollar Tree so I could get some stuff for scent training. And we found Wonder Balls. Okay, if you grew up in the 90s, early 2000s, then you know what a Wonder Ball is. And if you don't know, Wonder Balls are like these chocolate hollow spheres. In the box, you get the chocolate ball and you get a couple of things of stickers. It's usually Disney. And then inside the ball is colorful candy. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think they also had like a little toy or something in the early 2000s. I don't remember. These were knockoff, obviously. So Eli and I each got one. Apparently the chocolate wasn't very good. I wouldn't know. Didn't eat it. The candy was okay. It was kind of like a Flintstone vitamin, but it tastes better. So, there you go. Um, and then, came back. Eli wanted to go home, and I was like, you know, I understand that. <coughs> I like being at home more often anyway. Which I've noticed that. I'm wondering if I'm becoming a hermit. Oh, well. As long as I'm a hermit with my doggies. Right? Without the three of you. <gasps> Hi, Rainer. Hi. Hi, buddy. <gasps> Rayler, why don't you love me? Oh, and let me show you guys my completed scent jar. And uh, ta-da! Here is the jars that I will be using for scent training with MRL. Um, you could get like a box of these at Walmart. I almost thought about making a tutorial video for these, but they're really, really simple. Get these. If you only have used ones like I did, wash them out thoroughly because these had essential oil tablets in them and I need to make sure they were clean. Then get a small nail and a hammer. Kids, be careful, ask permission, get an adult's help, whatever. Get like those small nails that are used to hang up frames and just poke however many holes you want. And ta-da! I have a set of three so that I can have one for the sample and two for... Just whatever. Um, I nearly took a sample tonight because my anxiety just, I don't know where it shot up. But I also know I'm kind of sick and I don't know if that will affect the smell. So we're holding off on that for a little bit. But we've been working on MRL's alerts. He's doing a lot better on his alerts. Let me see if I can get him to do it. Poppy. Hey. Hey. MRL. Are you too tired to care right now? <gasps> yes, good boy! Yay! With that face, that seriously looked like a stop with the alarm clock, please. Alright, let's try one more. Pepper. A little stretch. Can you alert? Maybe use a nail that's a little louder. Pepper. Look. Well, let's try this one one more time. No, not feeling it. Beep. There you go. I know it wasn't technically a success, but sometimes I'll do that if he doesn't seem like he's understanding. I will put his paw on me, tell him, yes, that this is what the behavior that I want, and reward him normally with love. It's like a formal training session. He'll get treats, but a lot of times it's just love because I love him. Oh, and look, he's getting tufts of hair growing between his toes. It's the cutest thing. Like he has mini wolverines on in his paws. Such a cutie pie. So got home and then been feeling kind of depressed. Feels like a depressive episode's coming up. Um because I've been thinking about lately about self-care. And um how there are activities that I like doing, and I would call it self-care. But then, I don't want people being like, oh, you're just doing this for your anxiety, and then thinking I'm obsessed with my anxiety. 
which I mean, it's a huge part of my life. Like yoga, I enjoy doing yoga. Um, but I don't do it as often as I should, I guess because I stick it as a self-care thing. And then be like, it's for your anxiety, and then if I say that to people, they're like, oh, you're just obsessed with it, and I'm like, oh my gosh. I really want to get back into yoga, though. I really enjoy it. If anything, it gives me a really nice stretch in my back and my shoulders, especially my shoulders where the most of the tension is. Um, I used to exercise for my mental health, but I don't know. My brain goes into a weird cycle when it comes to, like, exercise, like, not stuff like playing a sport or dancing, whatever, but, like, actual workouts. I used to do, if you saw in my earlier vlogs, I used to do APT, which is Anxiety Physical Therapy. Um, where every day, for like 30 minutes, I would go on the elliptical at my school's gym. And, or go for a walk around campus, whatever. And you know, I enjoyed doing that. But, then my brain goes into a cycle of, um, it wants to lose weight. And so it's like, you're not working hard enough. You need to burn more calories. You need to do this. You need to do that. So it's like my thinking is moved away from this is to care for myself. And then it turns into kind of like a destructive thing. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. My sleep meds might be kicking in, so I may not make a whole lot of sense. But basically anything self-care that I think of. It can either go positive or somehow turn negative against me. And it's kind of annoying. <laughs> do anybody else, do any of you have that feeling too? Thumbs up if you know that feeling also. Because it's ridiculous. Like you feel like you're being judged for taking a day off for mental health or doing yoga for your mental health or just for your body even. I don't know. Or maybe this is just my anxiety overthinking everything as it usually does. So... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's up with my brain. So, before I keep blabbering about nothing, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, what is your number one favorite self-care thing to do? Um, I'd have to think about that for a second. I think one of my favorites is definitely bath bombs and music. Or going for a walk outside. I like that too. So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Riddler. Good night, Amaral. Good night, sassy girl. I love you. <laughs>